In our previous examples, we focus on increasing the chances that anyone browsing the App Store will discover your game. We've then talked about how do we increase the chance that someone that has discovered your game converts and downloads your game. But what if you don't want to invest your marketing dollars marketing to just anybody? Maybe your game is not suitable for young children. Or conversely, your game may be designed for young children and you don't want to waste marketing dollars promoting your game to teenagers or young adults who may not even like your game. Regardless of the reasons, targeting is about focusing your marketing efforts to increase discovery and conversion towards a particular set of player demographics only. And as a general rule of thumb, the more you target, the more expensive it gets to acquire each user. And conversely, the more you target, the smaller the total number of players you're likely to be able to acquire. That said, targeting can be a powerful way to attract extremely specific and high value users to your game, as well as provide you with more granular control over the demographic mix of players that are active inside of your game. To illustrate the concept of an effective use of targeting in mobile games marketing, I'd like to share with you the story about one of our other games, Transformers Earth Wars. The Transformers brand should need no introduction. It's an extremely versatile and powerful brand that spans generations of different audiences, ranging from young kids today all the way to old kids like myself who grew up with the first generation Transformers cartoons and Transformers toys. The Transformers Earth Wars project was a three-way partnership that we struck back in late 2016. Hasbro, the owners of the Transformers brand, and Space Ape, the original developers of the Transformers Earth War games, wanted to expand the game's reach into the Taiwan, Hong Kong, and China markets, and they partnered with Yoda One to publish and operate the Transformers Earth War game in Greater China. We initially launched the Greater China version of the Transformers Earth War game in March 2017, promoting it on dozens of different marketing platforms, acquiring over 120,000 players during the initial launch period and marketing campaign. What took us by surprise, however, was how differently each of the different marketing channels or ad networks behaved when we used the same exact ads and creatives to promote the Transformers games. Certain ad networks were giving us huge volumes of users at fairly affordable prices. For example, what we call performance ad networks. These ad networks that allow us to advertise our game inside of other games were giving us high volumes of users at around $2 cost per install. At the same time, we also tried promoting the game inside of high traffic apps like news apps. But these news apps only gave us about one tenth of the user volume that the performance ad networks were able to drive and the cost was actually much higher at around $5 cost per install. So in summary, the performance ad networks had driven over 100,000 installs at an average of about $2 per install for our game. While the high traffic news apps had only driven about 10,000 installs at an average of $5 per install. The conclusion should be obvious, right? Double down on the performance ad networks. Well, actually, the answer is no. And the reason for that could be surprising for you. Even though we're only spending $2 on average to get each user on the performance ad networks, what we discovered after analyzing the user data was that on average, each of these users was only returning about 50 cents. So every user we bought at $2 we were actually incurring a loss of $1.50. Now, when we analyze the users from the news apps that we were paying $5 per user for, each of those users were actually spending more than $10 on average inside of the game. Hence, we were getting a 100% return on investment, even though we were paying more than twice as much as the performance ad networks. That then begged the question, of why is there such a huge difference in the quality of the traffic that we were getting from different kinds of ad networks for this particular game. After doing a deep dive analysis, what we found was the players that the news app was bringing into the game were all adult players aged between 25 and 50. They were the big kids that grew up 
with the Transformers Generation 1 cartoons and Transformers Generation 1 toys, which was the basis of the Transformers Earth Wars game. Since the initial launch and marketing campaign for the game in 2017, we spent the next few years fine-tuning our targeting methods, allowing us to target our marketing dollars at attracting an older, more mature generation of Transformers fans into the Transformers Earth War games. In summary, targeting allows mobile games marketers to focus their marketing investments towards specific player demographics. As a general rule, the more that you target, the higher the cost per install for your marketing campaign, and also the lower the potential number of players you're likely to get with your marketing campaign. For mobile games marketers, targeting is a key method by which they can impact the LTV of a game by ensuring that higher quality players are attracted to the game via their marketing campaigns. Now that we've covered the three key things that matter in mobile games marketing, discovery, conversion, and targeting, in the next sections, we're gonna look at how we can apply these three things inside of different mobile games marketing strategies.